You guys, we got a question from a man. We got a question about intermittent fasting. So he posted a comment on one of our recent videos. That's how we get our questions, either that or our Facebook page. Check that out in the link. And he said, intermittent fasting, could you please make a video on your views, you know, your ideas when it comes to intermittent fasting, what you think? Uh, so what I'm gonna what I'm gonna take this video is what do you get out of intermittent fasting? Uh, you know, most people were born to love to eat. So what so what you really need to know is what benefits does intermittent fasting get you uh, to make it worth the pain of uh, not eating, frankly, because uh, our bodies are designed to enjoy eating. Um, it's a pleasure system, the hormones and everything. So if you guys don't know, I intermittent fast every single day. Well, most every day. Uh, one thing is for sure 98% of you, 90% of anybody in the world is going to be hard for them to intermittent fast every single day. Now, in terms of my intermittent fast, what do I do? Um, so, things that I use for intermittent fasting, I, I, I pick eight hours a day that I can eat. And within that eight hour time frame, I make sure I have quality food. Not so much I'm worrying about the quantity when it comes to calories or anything like that. I worry about quantity. Now, I'm always health conscious when it comes to calories, and, and most people are. Um, but I'm not to the point where I can or even need to count calories. So I think that's a little over cerebral if you're not a bodybuilder. Uh, if you want results fast, you, you might want to try it, but uh, that's really over, overly cerebral. Um, if you've got an average body, you can get um, above average results, really good results with just going hard in the gym, you know, balling out. Uh, so eat healthy food, quality food. It comes down to uh, whole foods, uh, something that used to be a live animal, something that used to be a live plant. So these things that take minerals from the earth, plants, or uh, you know from the sun, or things that ate other plants and animals. So it's got a lot of micronutrients and it. it's got a lot of good stuff for you. It's a whole food. I tell people there's food and then there's food products. So try to eat as much food as you can within that eight. Uh, eight hour time period my the time period I pick I don't eat until noon so I try my best not to eat till noon now granted today just like I said almost every day I have intermittent fast today I had a few blueberries just now uh, and the thing behind it is the benefits behind intermittent fasting the way I do it is within that eight hour time period you control hunger pains when you're outside that eight hour time period um, I go from 12 to 8 so basically once I'm done eating at 8 I go to sleep so I'm good I, I don't I don't I don't start from uh, I don't start from right when I wake up and stop at what 2 or something like that uh, because that would be hard from 2 on you just stopped eating food so one thing you want to keep in mind is every time you eat food your body then demands more food it says oh it's game time we're waking up like let's go let's start burning calories let's start so it's the true meaning of catabolic so if you want to maximize your hormonal profile, you'll eat within an eight hour time period and I suggest you start at noon. Uh, so if you can wait until noon, most people, that's, that's the reason why 98% of us can't intermittent fast is because um, it's really a discipline thing. So there's no reason your body can't handle it. It's really, it's really natural for you to do that. Uh, you've got a lot of testosterone in the morning. It's just when the sun comes up, it's your natural circadian rhythm. So one thing that you want to realize is that intermittent fasting is going to benefit you in terms of levelizing your hormonal profile and maximizing the growth hormone that you have and the 